Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Martin here, one hour playthrough, and I'm back again. I uh, have been offline for uh, a little bit of time um, because of a family tragedy. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be home, but I'm back and ready to start and record more videos for you guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you want to support my channel, but also if you want to uh, be in the league of winning a copy of this game Subnautica for a steam copy that is all right so in the last video um, I got the fragments for the mobile vehicle spawn and the sea moth and that's what we're going to build right now um, I prepared everything already but let's have a look in the PDA what we normally need to make this so let's see the mobile vehicle spawn I need a titanium ingot so we need t 10 titanium fragments to, not a fragment, um, 10 titanium to make a titanium ingot. We need some lubricant and a power cell. So in order to make a power cell, let's quickly go over that. You need two batteries and silicon rubber. All right, so I have everything in here. So um, a titanium ingot, a power cell and some lube. Let's get right to it. And there it is. Beautiful. This is a great way to start a new game. Having the mobile vehicle spawn early. Nice one. Next, what we want is the Seamoth. Let's have a look. What we need to make a Seamoth. There it is. We need, once again, a titanium ingot. Again, a power cell. Loop and two glass. So it's a little bit extra for this. So again, titanium ingot, power cell, and I should have two glass, I believe it was, yes. All right, let's make that as well, but we have to make that outside. So let's jump in. It's a little bit dark, but it should be fine. Um, let's just, that little floating thing, that's for the air. I just dumped it there when it came back. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. All right, let's see release this the best thing to climb on it is go from the bottom and just say climb else there's a chance you pick it up and that's not really what you want all right so we have this beautiful planet in front of us while we make there it is the sea moth i like it how they did this it's fantastic all right that's ready another thing i want to make let's jump in is just in case because i'm going to tell you in a second where we are going um i want to make a flashlight i just need a battery and a piece of glass already pre-made that as well for you guys so i don't have to search around too long there you go uh, let's make this battery always comes in handy so it's good it's good to have all right for this expedition that i'm about to do I will wait for it. No, we'll wait for daily. Probably, yeah. We're going to go to the... To a island, I have to say. Let's go in the seam of there because we have a compass now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, yes. So good to hear this sound again. So we have to go west. It's more like uh, southwest. And you can't really see. You see this little bit of a cloud over here. And this is the direction where we're going. So l let's just get going. Don't want to waste too much time. Um, once again, I will do it without cut editing. Let's go underneath the water. And uh, so we can see a little bit. I'll leave the lights on. It takes a bit more of energy, but that's fine. I can easily make it. Oops. Oh, that was just... Um, what's that called again? The thermal vent. That's okay. Right, about the energy, it's, uh, it doesn't take too much having the lights on, so it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's a thousand meters away uh, from our life raft, our life support pod, so it's not too far. What you do want, don't want to do, especially in the Seamoth, or maybe if you go by Sea Glide, swimming, I think it's too far, it goes too slow is um, you don't want to go too deep. There are nasty beasties down there and it's pretty deep here as well. 
Alright, let's have a look where we are. Alright, you can already see the outline of the island. Let's go more to the west. This is also the reason I took my flashlight with me. Uh, just in case it turns dark. You see, it's um, it's not really far away. And there should be a little beach around here. Let's have a look. Um, it's by this light, actually. Here it is. And we can just nudge it gently on the beach. Gently. I think that will do. Alright, great. Let's use the flashlight. And let's start exploring this island. Maybe, actually, switch off the light of the Seamoth. I think that would be a wise idea. Oh! Did I? Oh, I thought... I thought for a second it went off, but that was my flashlight itself. Oh, Martin. Alright. It's pretty cool to explore it in the dark. I like it. So there's um, a big reason I want to be here, because the multi-purpose room is here. And that is what you need if you want to build... Ah, oh, the summons coming up. Great. Um, if you want to build an underwater sea base. And that's of course that's what you want in this game. That's just what this is all about, isn't it? Not all about, but story is getting more and more. It's pretty cool. We're going to do some scanning as well. Or sorts of alien, exotic plants and sp species, kind of, we're going to find here. Not gonna rush through it. Um, this little lake here, if you go under the island, you can come up here if you like it as well. That's another way to enter. Alright, let's see. Let's follow the path. That's the easiest way. And the mid changes since I played this quite some time ago. I like it. A Ming plant. That's something, uh, the shape of a Ming vase, I have to say. So it's a good name for it. The other cups. You can always uh, check it later in your PDA if they have if they have any use, like if they are, for example, edible or not. All right, let's go up here. Huh? I am looking for oh, crop basket. Sure. Pink caps. There's some growth growth beds around here and we're going on top of the mountain there are two structures two peaks on the mountain there it is this is where we're looking for we have uh, we're going to go up there and there's we can't see it right now but there's a similar mountain at the other side which we're going to check out and scan for some objects but let's do this exterior grow bed first i doing it did bring food with me but actually on this island, it's not really necessary. I guess we can eat this stuff if we like. Let's have a look. A maple melon and a small maple melon. There you go. It's pretty good. Um, did we scan it? Oh, yes. Don't really have to carry it with me. We're going to find more stuff later. Some chain Chinese potatoes. Let's have a taste of these as well. Never eat too much in this game, because you probably start puking. There you go, perfect. Not so much for the nutrition. You can actually see it here. Uh, the food is plus 22 in the H2O. Your water is 15, which is not too bad, actually. Let's just fill her up, actually. Why not? There we go. It's a little bit better. All right. Let's see, then. There are not many enemies, but there are these crawling spider kind of beasties around here. All right, let's have a little run. I go up the mountain and I think it's to your right hand side, I believe. Whoa, that was a big leg spike. Where we find the um, multipurpose room. And then probably a goodie as well. Good loot. And if you know me, if you know my channel, I love loot. I really, really like loot. Can we already see it? No, probably not. We'll get there, uh, we'll get there later. Let's first uh, get up this mountain. 
Uh, we jump here. There we go. I never came actually from the. That's the other one. Alright, let's go around here. This should be the correct way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Look at the aurora. Fantastic. Alright, um, through here. Yes. Don't need the shrooms. And there we go. Pretty easy to get here. Alright, let's see. We have a spotlight, which is going to be pretty cool later on for our base. A bulkhead. All very important to increase the structure strength of our base. Nice. Got some uh, composite plant pots. Pretty good. Uh, Chinese potatoes, we have that. And we have this observatory. Which, if you build it new, looks much better than it does look now. Looks pretty deteriorated. That's a difficult word to say, holy shit. The swivel chair and the desk. Yeah, if you make it new, the, the glass is just shh, really clear and everything. All right, let's get out of here, and I think we can go off this way. This is where we want to go. All right, there is not really fall damage, but they have implemented the sound already. Before that wasn't there as well, and uh, you could just <laughs> jump down the mountain if you like. Uh, but now it we will say, oh, that hurt. Alright, so this one, this is the one I need. This is the whole main purpose of me visiting this island. Ooh, ow. That's what I mean. Oh, there was a little damage though. Alright, this is the one you want. And we have these little creepy crawlers here. I'm gonna kill them. And scan them as well. Alright. Often there are two or three of these little spider thingies here. I can see you. Okay, he's inside. Take care of him in a second. They don't really hurt, they're just annoying. They hurt a little bit, but right, he's dead. I think there was another one outside. Let's just scan this one. Cave crawlers. Probably find them on the aurora itself. And what you can also do, that's new. It's self scan. Performing self-scan. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. That's new. Alright, I think he was stuck. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, we can go in here. This is good. I actually wonder, should I have scanned this? I think you could. Um... Let me try something here. I'm not sure if this is a wise move, but you should be able to drop stuff. There you go. And yeah, you can scan it. Yeah, make sure to scan it. There you go, and we have some information. All right, let's go inside. Whoa, that was... Oh, that's the shadow of a bird. I was like, is there something walking? Like a ghost? <laughs> Alright, I think there's another cave crawler inside. Let's meet him. Ooh, yeah. Ultra glide fins. I think you always get them here, but don't hold me to it. Alright, sir, you need to die. And scan the living wall. Nice. Ooh. Nice, the battery is good. Alright, scan that one already. Scan the bulkhead already. There is nothing more. Alright, let's go out of here. Not like this, Martin, but this way. 
And what we can do is go on top of the other mountain. I think the best way is over here. It's a little bit laggy on this island, I have to say. You can see at the left top the FPS. I left it on on purpose. Right, can we go in here and around and then up? Doesn't look like it, but I know there's a way to go up here. Let's let me check this for a second. There it is. Here's the path. All right, cool. We need to have this road over here. That's right. Let's go up. Pretty excited about this because when I get back, I finally can start building the base. That's so nice to do. Scavenge a lot for titanium. Um, up here. Look, it's massive, huh? It's huge. So good. Something on top of it. I never noticed it before. It's a lot of new things they added and. I on purpose didn't look it up what stuff they all added it. I think we're good. Alright, there's nothing special interest over here. Not going to take any fruits with me right now. Uh, if I need that. Oh, there should be. Hang on. What I'm missing is this funny little tree. Their fruits hang on, and that's pretty damn good. Let's see, where is the exit? Right over here. Let's go back to our ship. Oops, not too fast. Uh oh. Easy does it. Easy does it. Yeah, the tree with the fruits on. Um. Don't see it over here. Well, I'll, c I'll, c I'll come back here anyway. It's okay. Let's go to our little sea moth. Also, uh, what I never found again was uh, titanium. It used to be on this island, maybe underneath. I don't need it right now. And I think they made a lot of changes where things spawn and stuff like that. And that's pretty cool. Oh. And ow. And this is why it's bad as well, of course. Okay. It used to be titanium over here. I can remember it pretty well. Let's see if there's anything of interest over here. It doesn't really look like it. No. I can even see the light bot. Just. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, are we stuck? No, we're not. We can have a quick look underneath here. Um, I don't think the titanium is growing anymore. And these purple things, they keep this whole big structure afloat. It's pretty cool. Alright. There is the outline. I think I will cut edit and see over there. And that saves me some time, so I can't, won't make the video too long. And we do the first base building. That sounds like a plan, so I will see you in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. Not a problem, nothing I encountered. Let's see him while we're at it. Grab some of these metal debris, because I will definitely going to need them. Swim around, see if we can find some more. I'll have a little drink in a second as well. Let's see. I think it's starting to get dark. Alright. And I need to have to uh, make the habitat builder as well. Let's focus on that first. Let's see, what do we need for that? Um, I need a computer chip, that's right, I need a computer chip. Alright, so, 
how to make a computer chip. We need table coral, it's pretty easy. Gold and copper wire. We don't have anything like that. Um, I have gold. Copper wire is pretty easy to get. The rest I don't have. Let's store this. Drink some of these. Eat some. And throw this quickly into titanium. You know what? Because I have to look for all this stuff. Let's do this next time, shall we? Let's do this next time. Um, because it's dark already as well. It goes really quick. So, for now, thank you so much for watching. Again, do leave a comment and like the video. And support my channel. And let me know if you in the comment section if you want to participate in winning a Steam copy of this game. The winner I will announce when I make the biggest submarine and when that's finished we are uh, going to let you know who won that steam copy of subnautica for now thanks for watching i will see you next time bye